So the brand of Amouage is added again. Here we have another addition to their Opus collection. This is Opus 15. The name of this fragrance is King Blue. And in today's Seth Lebon contributor video, I'm going to be telling you all about this fragrance, my assessment, the breakdown, how it performs on my skin. Does it remind me of anything else? Is it in line with what can be expected from the brand of Amouage? I'm also going to let you in about a very special giveaway opportunity so that you can take home a bottle of this fragrance. So make sure to stay tuned. Now, before I begin today's episode and I give you my thoughts on the brand new fragrance by Amouage, Opus 15 King Blue, not in a blue bottle, but this fragrance does have some really interesting personalities to it. I do want to start the video off first by saying that if you're a fan of fragrance reviews, top tens, giveaways, so on and so forth, support the channel, please, by subscribing to it, hit the bell and give this video a thumbs up. It would really mean the world to me. Look, do you want to win a bottle? You can. All you have to do is go to cephlabon.com. It's going to be the first link down below in the description box. You click on that link, you read through the article, you register on the website, drop a comment. That's all you have to do. Make sure you check back on to cephlabon.com on the date that's mentioned in the article so that you know if you are the lucky winner. Look, Two perfumers worked on this, Alexis Grudgen and Hamid Merati Kashani. I've met Hamid Merati Kashani in person. I did an event with him at Saks Fifth Avenue. I went out to dinner with him and his beautiful family. He is one of the most amazing human beings I've ever met. He's made fragrances for Parfum de Marly and so many other brands. And this fragrance, it is truly truly special. Here you have mandarin, blackcurrant, and pink pepper in the top, frankincense, amber in the heart, sandalwood, oakwood, patchouli, oud, and leather in the dry down. Guys, you think of patchouli, you think of oud, you think of sandalwood, you think of all of these amazing ingredients. It is to be expected that this is going to be a heavy hitter type of a fragrance. I'm excited to talk to you about the smell. Let's take a quick look at the presentation first. So this fragrance opens up with a little bit of freshness <laughs> in just a little bit. You're not going to get a whole lot from this. It's not going to be this bright, jubilant, effervescent, zesty fragrance. No, 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 no. That's not what you're going to get from it. I know as far as the note breakdown is concerned, it does say Mandarin. Okay, you get a little bit of a zest. That's pretty much it. Black currant and pink pepper. So the thing with black currant, it can actually smell a little musky. And I think what's happening in here is that the black currant is combining with the oud in the dry down to create this sort of an animalic component to the fragrance. And I'm going to be honest with you. Yes, there is an animalic component to this fragrance. Of course, it's not the most animatic, animalic fragrance that Amouage has ever manufactured, but there is this sort of animalic component to it. And it adds that resolute quality to the fragrance. It adds the longevity. It adds the mysterious nature, the enigmatic component to this fragrance. If you are a fan of those types of fragrances, this fragrance, I have to be honest with you, is for the true connoisseur. You have to love niche fragrances, artistic fragrances, fragrances that push the envelope this fragrance is not a safe aquatic fragrance, right? This has heart. This has pizzazz and I love it. In the heart, like I said, you have frankincense, amber. In the base, you have sandalwood, oakwood, patchouli, oud, and leather. Now, I've always said that frankincense has a lemony pine smell. This does not smell smoky. There are fragrances like Interlude for Men that do smell smoky. There's Opus 7, which I think is composed by Alberto Morias. That one also smells smoky. This does not smell smoky. It's creamy, it's smooth, it's rich, it's a little animalic. It has some green tendencies in here. The frankincense contributes to it. The patchouli contributes to it. The agarwood in here is such high quality. This product is made in Amman. They're always using the best ingredients possible and I am in love with this fragrance. The drawback is that I want to wear this one in the colder weather. 
So now we're in July, actually, I know I'm probably gonna publish this in August, but I'm recording this video in July. And this is not the time for me to wear it personally. If you're wearing it indoors in a climate controlled environment and you're going to be light on the application, sure, you can get away with this one, no problem at all, no questions asked. However, the performance, the longevity, the attitude, the demeanor, the vigor behind this fragrance, guys, this is a strong, 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 fragrance from the brand. Did you expect anything else? Royal Tobacco is amazing. Interlude for Men is amazing. Myths Man. All of these fragrances are powerhouse fragrances. No exception here. This is an awesome release from the brand. Woody, resinous, incense balsamic, rich, slightly aromatic, a little warm in the opening, but definitely warm in the dry down when that amber starts to come out. All of these rich balsams that are in there, the frankincense is exemplary. This is a beautiful fragrance, you have a chance to win a bottle at Cephalobon, please take advantage of it. All of the information is gonna be down below. Let's go ahead and finish things off with my overall assessment. Now, first up, in terms of the uniqueness and the overall smell, like I said, Amouage has manufactured a lot of other really dark fragrances, but even with this one, they managed to take it in a new direction. Of course, there have been other dark fragrances from Amouage. Of course, frankincense is a motif in so many Amouage fragrances, but there's something about this one, the animalic components, the diversity of the woods, the earthy patchouli, the warmth in the opening, the warmth in the base on account of the amber bridging that mandarin warmth in the opening. It's a beautiful fragrance expertly composed Alexis Grudge and Hamid Merati Kashani. Just beautifully done. Longevity on this one. <laughs> 12 plus hours. This is an amazing performer, very highly concentrated. Projection was enormous for the first two hours of application, radiated beyond an arm's length for about an hour, an hour and a half, arm's length for about two hours, elbows length for about seven hours, skin scent right around hour 11 or 12. Versatility, some people would argue it's masculine leaning. Myself, I think it's perfectly unisex. Great for the colder weather, great for formal scenarios, great for somebody who's a little bit older, more experienced with niche fragrances. And in terms of the presentation, the presentation for Amouage products has always been top notch. My final verdict on this fragrance in terms of niche fragrances, one of the best releases of 2023 hands down. It is so special. It has so much going for it. It's for the connoisseur. You have to keep that in mind. This fragrance is for the connoisseur. You don't want to smell like everybody else. You want to be daring. You want to be enigmatic. You want to be mysterious. You want something with quality, natural smelling, long lasting attributes. Opus 15 King Blue check it out if you have a chance. All of the links are going to be down below for purchase. They're not affiliate links. I'm not making any money off this video. This is not a sponsored video. And the link to cephalobond.com is your way to enter the giveaway. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know. Have you tried this fragrance? I would love it if you could share your opinions down below. And also, just generally speaking, do you have a favorite Amouage fragrance? Myself personally, I think it's Jubilation 25. I think Bertrand du Chauffeur did an amazing job on that fragrance. Interlude for Men, of course, is one of my favorites. Reflection is wonderful. Beach Hut for Men is one that I have been wearing a lot this summer. I have a lot of fragrances in my collection, but I've worn it like three or four times. And for me, that's a lot. <laughs> So drop your comments down below. What have been your favorites as of late? Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe, hit the bell, give it a thumbs up. We'll see you tomorrow with a new upload. Take care. Love you guys. Have a good day.